Alright, Glad Rap Channel, here we are in Cardiff. So, Eddie kind of butchered your name a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell him how it's pronounced. Um, Oi Matangi. Yeah. Oi Matangi. Yeah. Yeah. What did he say? I don't know. <laughs> he said, he said, said Oi Matangi. Yeah. He said something, I don't know. But everyone else in Wales says it correctly. So, <laughs> yeah. so tell us. Surprisingly. So, how's it like being in Cardiff, man? Are you enjoying yourself? Or? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Have you had much time to look around, or it's yeah, been no, all, all business? It's all just all business, you know. Just Training and sleep, training and sleep. So yeah. How was the flight? I heard you got stuck in Dubai. And yeah. What, what happened? Unfortunately, um, our plane got struck by lightning on our way here to um, Dubai. So. Struck by lightning. Yeah. Sorry. Going to mess That's with the Dubai. That's the Pavilion. Yeah. Right? yeah. Mess with the Washington. Yeah. 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 So yeah, stuck in Dubai. Yeah, stuck in Dubai. So so did you feel it? Did you? No, I never, I never felt it at all. I was um, sleeping most of the way through. So I'm lucky were, enough. Were the passengers panicking or something? Or I don't think so. Yeah. 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 I was quite relieved when they said it wasn't dangerous. Right. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. there's a there's okay. The lightning bolt <laughs> yeah. struck and the spark and flash yeah. and, and right. it, um, when we're taking off in Sydney. Yeah. And, um, but then the captain said it was uh, um, lightning, and because um, that plane, the, the new um, big plane, I can't remember, it's got a thing, history, of, there's a, been a problem with the engine, the Rolls Royce engines, yeah. so it's quite a relief when you see it was lightning and not the engine. Mose, do you think you got any superpowers from the lightning strike? Or? Well, no, I already been born with superpowers. Oh, right? exactly, yeah. God, yeah. God gave me superpowers already. So. Maybe this lightning just, <laughs> you know, enhanced it. I think lightning was just a oh, wake up call. Eh? Lightning is time. Pony. This is I am Mossy on the tongue. You heard it there. So you know this is a massive car, man. Um, are you feeling? Are you feeling the pressure, or is it just just as normal? Is it? I mean, um, I feel the pressure in every fight, you know. But it's um, how you use the pressure and how you um, um, how you use it to fuel the fire. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So have you? The training has gone well so far. Yeah, training has gone really well. You know. Um, no hiccups, no, um, no nothing that stopped us, you know, and um, ready to rock and roll. So you just did the face-off with Morgan Jones. Yeah. Uh, he's a little taller, is he? Or? Yeah, I think he's about, about an inch or two inches taller. Did you size him up? Did he size you up? Did you see anything? Oh, yeah, he, man, it's stone cold, man. It's stone cold, <laughs> stone cold eh? but yeah. yeah. Well. Listen, man, it's a, it's a massive opportunity for you tomorrow, and we're wishing you all the best. Thank you. Uh, just a quick message to all the people out there in New Zealand supporting you. Uh, just a massive thank you to my friends and family back at home. Uh, love you all, and uh, thanks for the messages and uh, texts, and uh, yeah, thank you. I'll do my best. Mose, all the best, man. Cheers, man. Grant, yeah. quick, 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 give us an update on, on Mose. How's he doing? How's he going? Um, he's going really well. Yeah. Um, I, I expect him to do really well on Saturday. Um, I was a bit worried about the, the aeroplane trip over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two and a bit days. Um, he's never been that far away. And the, you know, the, the big arena. Um, but he's handling it all good. We've, we've, had, we've had some good uh, training each day. So, yes, come Saturday, he'll, he'll be good. You must be proud, you know, just looking and seeing, you know, Joseph Parker on the on the main event, Mose, you know, on the undercard. I mean, how does that feel? Like just knowing that you were involved. Yeah, we're lucky. Um, you know, we got two good boys on here on here on Saturday. Um, yeah, we're proud of both of them. Um, Joseph's got there a lot quicker than what I thought, and now Moss has got his uh, chance of. Of showing what he's got and hopefully climbing up that ladder too. So um, yeah, we've got a great opportunity. Um, we had three going from New Zealand last week. John's hurt his hand now, so he's out. But it just shows you we've got the goods over there. We just need a bit of support um, financially to develop these guys and, and get them to this sort of tournament. Was it hard to, uh, or, or did, did Matram cover everything for this? To, to get Mose out in Cardiff, or was it? It was no, I, I couldn't have got him on the card. It was through Andrew Higgins and, and David Higgins, 
um, Andrew Andrew um, believes in him and, and went to his brother about it, and so here we are. But um, you know, there's, there's, there's a of plenty of books, like, plenty sorry, of books. Grant Grant Jim's produced two or three boxes on the card, um, as you've seen. Could have been free if John John was fighting. Um, and as he touched on, there's no government funding, and, and Grant did that out of his own pocket. And then um, me doing some boxing shows to try and get him fights, like Mossy, for instance. Um, I would have had to spend two hundred thousand dollars just to get him the fights that give him the record that allow him to um, be considered for an opportunity like this. But um, when you look at it, relatively speaking, and um, versus up the funding that other sports garner in New Zealand from the government or Spark, or, um, and you, or you look at even amateurs, no disrespect to amateur boxing, it's essential. However, you look at a guy like David Nika, no disrespect to him getting a couple of hundred thousand funding from Sky and whatever each year, and then you look at um, pro talents like Mossy, uh, it's only out of Grant's pocket and um, my pocket and, 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 and the enthusiasm for the sport that get, allows and even to get close to getting these opportunities. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the public is a loser. Um, when you look at how popular boxing has been in New Zealand history, like um, if you look at the TV ratings, it's up there with America's Cup or World Cup finals. And the public is a loser when the government or whoever public funding body um, marginalise boxing at the expense of funding millions for sports like yachting so that Dean Barker can buy a $13 million house in Hearn Bay or whatever and I think it's um, a bit lopsided and it doesn't really reflect the public appetite for the sport or, um, and it's only, um, I mean, we've only got pockets so deep um, and it's only through our um, sort of passion for the sport that um, th these guys get these opportunities. The, the sad thing is in Grant's gym, there's a hundred more guys that come in each week and you can see that have the, the talent that Mossy and Joseph have that may or may not continue because they can't afford reps, mm -hmm. let alone a pair of gloves to continue in the sport. Yeah. So hopefully um, some of the success that some of these guys are having might um, cause a rethink in some of the sports funding models and um, get guys like Grant to get a bit more recognition and funding for a humble boxing gym that he's got, which is yeah, producing some top quality fighters. I mean, and, yeah. And hopefully give some opportunities to more to come. I mean, Grant has a string of successes, right? With Parker, yeah. Morsi. I mean, imagine what extra popular. funding would do, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, I mean, I can't afford to do TV shows anymore, but um, Mossy was one of the ones that um, I, I was able to put on TV a few times. Um, and the networks could invest a bit more in the production, too, mm. instead of putting it all on the promoter. When they've got the, um, the um, long-term budgets and um, sponsors already lined up, advertisers and stuff. So if you had a message to, to people out there, sponsors, what would you say? Sort of well, get involved? The, 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 sponsor, the TV networks that get, that get the sponsors interested. So I, I think it's uh, Spark and the government, um, uh, like the Minister of Sport, I'm not sure who it is these days, but I know Winston Peters okay. likes some boxing. I've had a chat with him at many um, boxing events. He's been ringside um, a few times. So yeah, maybe it's time for us to ring him up and start the lobbying process, but yeah, let, um, um, definitely um, the, we're not getting the funding in that sport. Um, probably because we don't have the right old boys network in the ivory towers. You know, the right, it's maybe the right people aren't in the right places in boxing. And, but funding should be based on objective merit, not on um, who you know. Um, so yeah, um, definitely something to work on when I get back to New Zealand, I guess. So um, you, know, you know when you got to dig in your own pockets, I mean, you must really care for these fighters, right? I mean... Well, what motivated me to get yeah. involved with uh, boxing was just purely... But, um, I see a lot of um, mediocrity that's highlight, um, hogging the limelight and then I see some genuine talents, talents like Mossy who aren't getting the opportunities they deserve. Um, and the, 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 the disconnect is sort of what made, motivated me to throw my job in and get involved um, to try and give um, Jordan Ty and Mossy um, um, very promising entertaining fighters. And then I see other fighters that maybe turn down more of the fights getting all the opportunities. Um, and Grant's just been there Produce, giving them the opportunity to even learn their talent and, um, um, with no funding um, um, or very limited funding um, in Papatoi. But um, yeah, hopefully um, that can change in the future. Um, opportunities like this might inspire promoters and TV networks and um, sponsors to become more involved. Um, uh, but, but, but yeah, um, cause there's, there's a hundred more of them where they came from. Um, and you can see there's young guys in his gym that are 15 years old <laughs> um, that, that look like they'll be killers in the future. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, just hope they get yeah. the opportunity to um, like this to show that. Yeah. How do you think he's going to do? Um, Mossy, um, I hope he's going to stop the guy because I wouldn't want to get a decision in Wales if I was a rugby team or a um, boxer. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> so, we'll, uh, but even a respectable um, um, performance is all we need, and um, I think he'll do well. All right, thank you. Thanks, Ray. Thank, thank you, Grant. Wishing you all the best. Yeah, thanks. All the best. Thank you. Sorry for hijacking.